sent out to you. So, Carl, and, huh? that, that, per, that property was just purchased. Was that which property owner gave us consent? Because I know they just did a, a, a phase one down there for that property. Uh, and then you have to talk to the mayor. The mayor is the one. Yeah. Okay, I'll say something. Wrong. And they've been trading back and forth with SME on, okay. uh, on that day. The, the owner did ask. You know, for advance notice of when they were going to board. Okay. What was our goal? The offsite board? Yeah. It is the I I thought I was not going to release the thing unless we did the offsite board mm -hmm. and give us clearance on our side. But it's contaminated on the other side. Yeah, but it depends upon what it's contaminated <laughs> with. It depends upon what it's contaminated with. If it's contaminated with something that was from our side, there could maybe be problems. If it's contaminated with something that's totally unrelated to the chemicals on our side, then we're okay. You can We didn't decide to do it. They, were, they requested it. They, 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 they basically mandated it. They didn't even okay. request it. Yeah. This has been a gift that just keeps on giving. Yeah, I know. It's kind of like a free gift. Yeah, free gift. I, I, I do feel like there's real, real small progress. Yeah. Yeah. This has been going on before I was on the board. You got a dry stake. I know where you live. I know you're being recorded. I do know where he lives. I meant Greg. Oh, okay. Second things were progressed. Oh, that's true. But I did not know. Anyway, so we love this place. 
Yeah. So that's where that's where you know they're at. Any further questions? Let yeah, me know. Okay. Next item, Jackson Line. I did notice the survey has been completed. Uh, Dale and I are having uh, pseudo dinner with Mr. Bushy this afternoon. So hopefully we'll get some updates on that and some other projects he's working on in the city. Nugget. That's what I saw him down there working there, yeah. you know, the survey is what they were. So, uh, okay, the next item on the agenda is Bowman. Okay. And then, uh, you want to do it? Or well, I'll start off, and you're going to have more detail. Uh, I, I'll start off with the email that I sent to everybody. I don't think everybody get that. And have, okay. Okay. So, what happened is, yeah, we were given a... a the stack of presumably paid invoices. Some of them are dated back last year. Uh, so, well, the, the creation date of this one, it says, was back in 23. Now, when it was paid, I don't know. Long story short, we all have looked them over. Both of us have gone by the building. They, they clearly have made the improvements in the building. Um, your understanding is they paid the invoices, correct? My understanding is that they, they have the invoices that are made by the Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh, well, and, but the bottom line is we would have need to have, I, I, Carl had done all the math out and he would save me, but we would have had to have over, over $150,000, I think, uh, in order to wrapped the whole thing up, there would have had to have been over 80000 just to get the credits. But these, these tallied up at, I think, about $177,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, and they appear to be primarily windows or stuff pointing. I mean, it is permanent. If you walk in the back alley, there, it is substantially improved. Um, so after looking those over, uh, Carl and I both determined that we think that there's been enough that we basically have zeroed out the Principle, which the condition of the building now, if you haven't been down or driven around it, is a lot better than it was. It's it's it, it, it's not a class A real estate property in downtown Chicago or anything like that. <laughs> um, but it's it's substantially better than it was. I also called the uh, assessor, and they had upgraded the classification for it too, and that jumped the, the tax assessment on about twenty thousand dollars at that point. We're not going to have a dollar for dollar transfer on that. Um, so that that's the one recommendation that we'd like the uh, council to look at. The second one is having to do with the interest payment that would have been due on September 27th, and whether or not we want to make this principal reduction retroactive uh, so that it zeroes out that last. Payment as well. Paul, you go ahead and step in there with anything else that you think. I, I mean, there was, I think, six invoices that total was $177,350. Uh, and uh, the, according to the you know, promissory note, uh, he got credit at a buck for every two and a half he put in it. And if you divide one seventy seven three fifty by 2.5, it comes out of 70 than $62,000. I don't, I, I'm not sure exactly how much on the print, on the print. A lot of these improvements were actually made uh, quite a while back. You just couldn't see them because they were paint. <laughs> and they've been put in. Without any uh, any reduction prior to 926, the interest payment would have been uh, two thousand eight hundred thirty-eight dollars and eighty-three cents. I mean, if you want my opinion, we work and work and work and work and work to get invoices out of it. Uh, I don't see any reason to retroactive unless the contract specifically calls for it. The contract is. Built 
been in default for a long time based on his performance. At the first, after the first year. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that because it has to be what was to provide the answers. But, you know, there's been a lot of your time uh, and expense associated with that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a cynical bank. I, I don't see a reason why. We've got to have you on board. be looking for with the emotion of a couple of different things. One would be to uh, allow the principal to be forgiven based on the work that's been done. Secondly, um, 
to an authorized release of the mortgage only after payment of that final interest payment. Does that make sense? So do you. Okay. I'll say that. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. I will get that notice out. So that is. You will undoubtedly get a call. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, landscaping on SR9. The landscaper had, going down a personal issue, but had a terrible, terrible infection in her finger and spent multiple days in the hospital. She stopped digging in the dirt, and so it has been pushed back, which is good for us in the watering standpoint, but bad for looks. Yeah. So I will give you an update as soon as I get an update from her. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I, I'm super excited, but I'm also like, we go through these little drop stages. And I'm like, oh, thanks that she implanted today, and yeah. So as soon as I get an update from her, I'll let you know. Any other open? Okay, new business. Annual spending plan, Greg. Okay, so. State legislature has blessed us with another annual reporting obligation to report. Well, it, it, and everybody, when they do this, I mean, I'm not doing this in their defense, more by way of explanation. We need to understand there are redevelopment commissions all over the state. Some of them are very aggressive and ambitious and creative in the way that they um, we, the upshot is this is due by the end, I think by the first of December. Yeah, I got that template, but I don't, I don't know what else. Oh, I think I keep it put on the phone stuff. Yes, I do. Um, no, not later than December and, and uh, yeah, this is December 1st, we should be redevelopment commissioners shall file with the Department of Local Government Finance and with the unit's executive and fiscal body a report setting out a spending plan for the next calendar year describing planned expenditures. The spending plan must be filed in a matter prescribed by the Department of Local Government Finance. Uh, we have a commission of this money, the Development Commission's allocation fund described in the chapter, or any other fund maintained. Only for the purposes provided in the annual spending. So, I, mean, I don't know if that was language you were familiar with or not. That's, that's no, but I, the, the confusion was a budget was always required. Yes. What's the difference between a spending plan and a budget? So, this <laughs> this thing, and I thought this was a suggestion, but the language you just read is not a suggestion. No. So, um, what happens, like, Luckily, what always happens is we get usually get templates from larger firms, like ones that we contracted with different times to do municipal advice. Um, I sent, and it was probably in Word version, a template out to everybody to look over. Um, it, it, I, I don't plan on having to sit down to get this ironed out today, but I would like to have a plan to do it because I'd like us to be able to approve it at our November meeting. Then get it submitted by the end of November and hopefully before Thanksgiving. So, uh, I, uh, my suggestion is that uh, I mean there were some of these that I mean, I know we don't have any debt, so I was able to put in the zero <laughs> on that. And then there was a place for professional fees, so I took the highest amount I had charged over like the last five years and then bounced that a little bit uh, because again the statute says you may not spend more than is in the spending plan. So my advice is for us to set those figures high. Um, I, I guess what I'm going to suggest, and Carl, I hate to keep going back to you, but is, is, if, is if you and I and maybe another board member could sit down with numbers from Rosie so that we know what our funds stand at. In other words, what 
and I realize that might not dictate what we have available next year, but I think it would, that you should be able to at least have some nominal, some nominal knowledge of numbers. Set forth some numbers in this. This is undoubtedly more complicated than, than we are going to have. Uh, a, a lot of our staff, I mean, we know where our expenditures usually are. We have the RIF, we'll try to figure out exactly what we're going to that in here. Um, we have the assistance that we've been doing with some other projects, whether we're going to call them capital projects or not. I'm not sure we call lands to do that, but there is a place for reimbursement of the, uh, of the taxing unit, which would be the city. So things with the jail, expenses with that, we can plug some of those in. The side grants, we want to plug those in. And so we do have programming in place that we can plug into this. Um, anyway, but that's. Is our going to be Well, it's. They've got an area. What's they, that? They do have an area. In the, in the template, it actually does talk about, uh, let me see, expenditures from state or federal grants or loans, foundations, grants or loans, funds provided to the Redevelopment Commission by other political subdivisions. So I vote on this, that that, to me, I, I, uh, that sounds like our RLS. Now, whether those are considered expenditures for their purposes, it does talk about, uh, see whether, I, I'm not sure how we could not call loans expenditures. And I see what you mean. We're supposed to get those back. Yeah. yeah. We're transferring one asset to the right. loan receivable from cash. Okay. But I, I think I, mean, I don't want to. <laughs> so you can do whatever you want that you think makes sense. Anybody, Carl, would you would you sit down with me and say, Yeah, let me. Okay. Would, okay. Give so, us a go, go like in two weeks. And I will, I will, I will charge myself with facilitating that. Are you going to be in the country and everything? In a couple of weeks? Or are you going to have a designated? Are you going to have a designated that will be in the country? <laughs> I can tell you this is not my special okay. okay. I will. You. I maybe. Okay. If you can't make it, Scott, is it something you would want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you you know, ask like a question. question. Wrong. Yeah. I ask you. I ask you. I know. 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 I I honestly don't know. I've been writing doctors' doctor's Well, if you can do it, I mean, this isn't something you need. No, I can do it. Well, there, Jason. I'll just comment on that. Okay. What well, time of day were you? are in your hurry. Uh, well, how long do you think this is going to take? Not long. I'm hoping if we can get the numbers from this the city and that we can basically okay. just in our own minds characterize where we already have money and we know that we already mark earmarked the programs, that it's going to, I, I, I don't want to oversimplify things, but, but we're going to see what we have available. Yeah. Some of these expenditures should be coming from TIF for allocation areas. Some of them are a little broader. The RLF is broader. And we'll break them down. I don't think it's going to take an hour. Okay. I mean, my lunch hour is best time. Otherwise, we need to do before or after. Okay. So, yeah. Does this mean if, a, if something comes up in uh, the middle of the year? We have to amend the spending plan. Okay. Well, but it's not as though okay, no. you're stuck with this. No. 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 Okay. If you read it, they have some notes attached, and there's a memo uh, from the DLGF in there, the Department of Local Government Finance. Um, but it, 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 it basically is, is noting that we are supposed to amend it if something comes up that we can amend it. That's, we're hoping to try to avoid that, and that was where we're trying to shoot a little high. Yeah, be aggressive. I mean, put stuff in there, you, even if you think there's only a 15% chance you do it. That's, we're, we're going to try to do that with, with being, as, like I say, this is, this is just the inaugural thing, so hopefully we're not going to be, be yeah, well, hopefully we will be graded on a curve. Uh, they probably don't be well, this is yeah, I'll just, I'll just say we just did this for the county redevelopment commission. We just did this for the county, and we were very aggressive.
on what we were going to Well, and I, I think that is, I think that's the, the takeaway. And I noticed Samara was, everybody else was, yes, it is set high because you can't, you're not supposed to spend anything more than the budget or put in the same budget. And me. Yes, for instance. Okay. <laughs> that moves that ball a little bit down the field. That's all I Okay. Can. I can get you a drinking pot. That's all I can get you. <laughs> Don't pack your pot. More trees. More trees. <laughs> all right. And next item apparently going to move till next month. Any other new business? Nikki did want me to remind you to get on Clemson Connect's Facebook. She made changes to the business portal, and so I've done my part. Thank you. <laughs> did a fine job. Nice work, Jim. Good work. Probably a yeah. Just a, a voice. <laughs> Facebook or the regular website? Regular website. The regular website. Regular website. Did I say Facebook? I'm sorry. Yeah. Regular website. Okay. Yeah. Regular website. okay. That's because I could beat it. Well, hearing nobody else say that we've got any other new business. Shall we add Jim? Yes. Oh, sorry, I don't have a Okay, that's